there is a lot of excitement regarding 5G and what it has to offer. Manufacturing companies of phones and network providers are pushing 5G really hard. But what is 5G? Is it something we should get on board or is it simply a sales gimmick? Also, is it safe? Hey guys, I'm Tech from Tech Driven and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button once you finish the video. So let's get it back to 5G. So what is 5G? 5G stands for 5th Generation Telecommunication Network. The way 5G works versus 4G is 5G uses higher frequency radio waves to communicate with the device to transfer data. The downside of that is that it travels at a shorter distance and it's subject to obstacles that can actually reduce the speed dramatically or even cut it down completely. 5G network is capable of sending and receiving data at high speeds and that's actually around 1 gigabit per second, which is quite impressive. So the main question is should you go out and get a 5G capable phone so you can use your 5G network? Well the short answer is no, unfortunately most of us will not be able to use the 5G at all, at least until the next 5, 6, 7 years, who knows. Right now 5G is being developed and it's available in certain areas, including some cities, but the main focus of 5G development right now is in the commercial areas, commercial districts, where businesses can take advantage of it. Network providers are focusing on businesses first because they will be their primary supporters of expansion. Somebody after all has to pay for it. So unfortunately us consumers will not take advantage of 5G anytime soon. It will probably take 5 years or even more before you'll be able to go out on the street or even in a house and turn your phone and actually use 5G. Until then, unfortunately, 5G is simply a sales gimmick. Not to mention that you will have to spend more on a phone that's 5G capable versus a regular phone that's only 4G. So don't waste your money on 5G because it's simply the network is not ready and it won't be ready for another few years at least. So another big question is, is 5G safe? So there are two sides. One side says that it 5G is fully safe. The other side says that 5G is capable of producing some serious damage to humans and the environment. So which one really is right? Well, at this moment, there is no real evidence against 5G that it can produce any harm to humans, the environment, anything else. However, there's no real research being done regarding whether it's safe or not. It's simply nobody wants to spend the money or the resources into researching whether it's safe or not. In my opinion, this definitely should be priority regarding researching if 5G is in fact safe or not on humans. At this time, when it's not really being used, it's perfectly safe, I would say. However, in the future, in 5-10 years, when everyone is using 5G and you're gonna get bombarded with radioactive waves in every direction, that actually might have impact on insects, animals and humans alike. So is the research ever going to be done? Probably not. Everybody's focusing on stuff like banning straws from fast food markets. Seems like better use of resources and money. Sorry to say that you won't see any research being done when it comes to safety of 5G. Maybe perhaps in the future things will change. As for now, 5G is simple to new and nobody cares to really study it. That also brings me to the point that you should not invest money into a phone that's 5G capable because you won't take advantage of it. If you have business, however, 5G might be really attractive. You may pay a premium price, but for the speeds that are offered, especially in rural areas or where fiber optic connection is not available, will be attractive. Make sure you check out my other videos regarding 5G phones and perhaps even 5G network. Hope you liked this video. Click like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and don't forget to subscribe.